Yo, my fellow Tigers, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Today is preview day, it's Monday the 9th of August 2021, and what a game we are previewing now. It is the first round of the Carabao Cup, or EFL Cup as others might know it as. Hull City versus Wigan Athletic at the MKM Stadium, 7.45 kickoff. Um, this one's going to be a good one, I feel. Um, so after after our strong start, especially to our championship life, uh, I think after being promoted from League One after winning the league, uh, we will host Wigan in the EFL Cup tomorrow night. Uh, we started with a 4-1 victory, as you saw in my last video over Preston North End. Um, while Wigan, unfortunately for them, suffered a defeat to Sunderland on the opening day of the League One season. So, championship win for us and a League One loss for them. So, following the relegation from the second tier in 1920 season, McCann guided the Tigers to promotion at the first time of asking last year as the Tigers stopped, topped League One with 89 points. That's there's a little inside for you. Um, McCann obviously led us into our first game back in the championship on Saturday. Made it to Deepdale. I went um, to take on the Lancashire side. Um, the Lily Whites got off to a better start than us. Um, Emil Reese Jake, Jacobson, Jacobson, same thing. Put the hosts ahead. Inside the first 10 minutes, I think it was the 8th minute. Yeah, it was. 8th minute goal. Uh, Keenless Potter, though, equaliser um, in 20th, 18th minute, 20th minute-ish. Um, meant that we were into the break at level pegging. Skipper Richie Smallwood, though, he just put us ahead on the hour mark. Mate. He just does what he wanted to do. He, just, he does what he wants. He scores when he wants. And uh, late goals from Josh McGinnis and Andy Cannon obviously uh, secured the opening victory. On a high from the strong start, um, we will now turn our attention to cup action. Now, I've always said I don't prefer cup over league. I always go for league rather than the cup because league is more important. But we focus today on Wigan, um, a side who hasn't really done the best this year. Or last year, I beg your pardon. Uh, we did the double over them in League One last season. So on the 17th of February 2021, it was Wigan Athletic nil, Hull City 5 at the DW with Wilkes scoring a hat-trick, Lewis Potter scoring and McGuinness as well, half-time 2-0. And then, third, no, I almost said the score... 1st of May 2021, so the second to last game of the season. McGinnis, Honeyman and Lewis Potter score with Dodo, uh, Dodo scoring for them to make it 3-1 victory, which would, sec would, and it did, secure us the League 1 title. So then, um, this is... Very, very noticeable, obviously, with the performance we've had against them. The Latics haven't have noticeably improved since the beginning of this year. We'll be keen to inflict a de defeat on the Humber outfit this time, but it's a little bit It's a little bit all over the place if you ask me. But they they're gonna try. They're gonna try, and I I rate people who will try. Um, they were re relegated from the championship in the same year as us, uh, finishing just two points above Tuesday's opponents at the foot of the table, although they did pick up an eye-catching win, and eight, which was 8-0 over the Tigers in that campaign. That was absolutely horrific. Absolutely horrific. That was basically Roman Grosjean's crash in football. Anyway, you, if, if you want to know what I mean there, then just go look at Ro Roman Grosjean Bahrain. 2020. Um, uh, but anyway, continuing. 
issues both on and on and off the pitch. Latix, um, they haven't enjoyed the same success as um, us in League One. Sitting in the relegation zone for the majority of the campaign, that was that was very tough. That was very tough for them. They uh, went down and then went even down anymore, and then they just stayed up. They can do well this season, hopefully, but you know, that's that's just them if they don't. Heading into the final six games of the season, the Lancashire outfit remained in the bottom four, but Liam Richards guided them to three consecutive victories, defeating Doncaster Rovers, Corey Alexandra, and Shrewsbury Town to move out the drop zone. That was when Aaron for Urban Football DRC made the video of Did anyone find that did anyone find the penny that dropped? Yeah. They lost 4-0. Um, <laughs> having already confirmed survival before the final day, though, Richardson's men finished a point above the drop zone. And with an exciting crop of new players, they will be keen to make a huge improvement. And this season, they need to do so. And they're obviously aiming for the other end of the division, but... It, it, you, you do what you have to do. You do what you can do. Do, do your best. That's all you can ask for. Having all, um, no, wrong one, wrong part of saying. They did not have the ideal start on Saturday. Um, trip to Sunderland resulting in two-one defeat. Guion Edwards early opener was immediately cancelled out by Aidan McGeady equaliser. Before Ross Stewart hit the winner in for the Black Cats early in the second half, the Latics will now look to rec- rec- record. I can't even say the word. Um, what would be an impressive victory over Championship opposition to build confidence? They aim to establish themselves in the top end of the League One table. Obviously, the Hull City form and Wigan form all competitions is won. Hull City won one out of one, and Wigan lost one out of one. So, an early cup encounter does man- give managers an opportunity to experiment with their team selection. That's going to be a big part in our team. We've got Randall Williams coming in. He couldn't play last week and he can't play today or tomorrow either. Probably can't play on sa- this Saturday um, because of the uh, two-week isolation, If he's only just, unless he's only on one-week isolation. Um... McCann could take a look at several players who did not feature heavily on Saturday. I'd I'd personally bring in a couple of players that were not on the pitch, which were like the likes of Nathan Baxter, um, like George Monco is on the pitch, Randall Williams if he's allowed to play, um, you know all all the stuff. Bernard Deschamps from Manchester United also. Uh, left back Callum Elder, however, should remain out of action, meaning Brandon Fleming or Joshua Emmanuel will feature in the la- in the back four. Uh, while new ring- winger Randall Williams was also ruled out the season opener and should not be rushed back. So I don't think he'll be. I, I'll get on to my team prediction, but I don't think he'll be back. Important midfielder George Honeyman though will miss the opening spell of the season through injury about three weeks, uh, including that the last game. While some of signing George Von Kirk could be given more minutes after making his competitive Tigers debut at Deepdale on Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Richardson will also take the opportunity to look at several of Wigan's new arrivals. Jordan Cousins featured off the bench on Saturday while striker Stephen Humphreys only played the final 10 minutes. Fair enough. Marquee signings, Charlie Wyke and Max Power. Now they're going to be massive. Charlie Wyke is going to be massive for them, and Max Power as well, but mostly Charlie Wyke. Both featured against the former club in the re- in the opening defeat to Sunderland, but as two of the Latics' most important players, they may be safe for league action, which is fair enough, which is a good idea. Um, and finally, Wigan winger Guion Edwards scored on his Wigan debut in that game, and he will likely to be deployed again, and Richardson hopes his attacker builds a run of goals. Moving on to my predicted team then, starting 11 will be Hull City starting as well. At first, we'll go to the Latics. So I think Amos will start in goal, Dariqua, Long, Watmore and Robinson with Cousins, Naylor, Edwards, Keane, Lang and Humphreys with Charlie Wyke on the bench. 
I'm not doing the benches, don't worry. Um, Hull City, though, for the Tigers, I've gone with Nathan Baxter, Louis Coyle, Bernard Deschamps, Greaves, Fleming, Cannon, Smith, Lewis Potter, Monker, Wilkes, and Eaves. Reason I've gone with that, I feel like McCann's going to put more, like, team players in, as in, like, he's going to change it around a little bit, give the new newbie some time to play. Uh, Eves, because M- McGinnis is kind of our league striker, Lewis Potter and Wilkes, they did well last game, but we, like, we can't just, we don't have that many players. Bernard Shaw on loan, Smith on loan, both from Manchester clubs, so... So, Smith on loan from Man City, Bernard Deschamps on loan from Manchester United. Uh, Randall Williams not on the bench for me, to be honest. Um, I can't see him starting or even getting on the bench. Um, Ingram's on the bench for definite. Uh, Josh Emmanuel's on the bench. But, you know, it is what it is. So, Sports Mall... Um, that's a random website that is just knocking about the places. So I've, I just, why not? Uh, they've said 2-1 Hull City. Even with squad rotation potentially taking place, the Tigers come into Tuesday's clash as favourites and we see them making it two wins from two to start the season in advance to the second round of the EFL Cup. McCann's men put in an eye-catching performance on Saturday and a similar showing on Tuesday would likely see them brush the athletics aside. If we can do this, like if we can like get this done, if we can keep performing like we did on Saturday, we're, we're gooch. Finally, before we end this, on to my final score prediction. I'm saying it's going to be a 1-1 one, one at It's going to be... No. It's going to be 2-0 at half-time, and it's going to be 4-1 at the end. Um, so a full-time at the MKM is going to be Hull City... The t- uh, Hull City 4, Wigan Athletic 1. Don't see Wigan coming back too much, even with Charlie Wyke, if he's on the bench. He, he like I don't see him doing much. But there is a possibility. I'm not ruling it out. There is a possibility, but 7.45 kick-off at the MKM tomorrow night at um, 10th of August, Tuesday, 2021. So, and... Um, forgot what I was saying then. Um... I shall be putting Tigers Talk video or live. I might be doing a live stream for it. Who knows? I might be doing a live stream soon enough. I might do it this week or next week. I might do it at the end of this week. Tigers Talk, talking about transfers, talking about the results that we've had and everything else. But thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Um, comment down below what you want to see next because I just... I I want to I want to know what you want to see like Formula One career mode I can still do that more Rocket League more FIFA whatever you want uh, just put it in the comments I'll try and do it for you but until then subscribe like comment and turn notifications on all and um, until the very very end of it until the last second of the game I'll be putting my review out maybe. The, I'll say Wednesday morning, possibly. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be Tuesday night or not. I don't know whether I'll have enough time. If I do, though, I'll see you. I'll see you at that point. But from me, guys, that's going to be it. That's Hull City. That is full time. Final score last Saturday: Preston North End one, Hull City four. Could it be a four? Could it be a four or three one versus Wigan Athletic? It's a possibility. <laughs> we'll have to see. So, like, comment, subscribe. Turn notifications on all. Thanks for watching. And it's time for the Tiger to go out. Take care, everyone. And stay safe. <laughs>